What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Should be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about the future of the Halloween franchise. We'll be talking about Scream 7. That's mostly a theory portion of the video mostly. And 13 Ghosts, this TV series update that came out yesterday from Dread Central. And we'll be talking about Prey 2. So just to start it off, Halloween 4. Halloween 4 is something that I know many people love. Many diehard fans of the franchise love it. Many people hate it, of course, too, just like with any other entry in this franchise. But I know it has its core diehard fans like myself. So I know a lot of you would love to see a sequel to Halloween 4. And I also know that there was a video I did talking about the fact that there seems to be movement or some type of pitches being accepted regarding a TV show or a new movie uh, from Malik Akkad. However, I'm now being told that if you're someone who is expecting a Halloween 4 legacy sequel, while that could always still happen, I'm choosing to believe this new bit of information that I'm being told. But a legacy sequel to Halloween 4 seems rather unlikely because of the fact that Daniel Harris and Malika Cod seem to have some sort of feud going on. Now, that's just what I'm being told allegedly. So if they have a feud going on and it's it's stemming from the, from uh, Danielle's comments uh, and the fallout from her little brief interaction with Jamie Lee Curtis at the Halloween Ends premiere, that's what it's stemming from. Apparently, he is he is not interested in doing a legacy sequel to Halloween Four. Her insistence on it is just annoying him, and they have some bad blood between them now because of how Jamie or Danielle responded to. Her interaction with Jamie at the Halloween Ends premiere, where she's talking about how Jamie was disrespectful, stuff like that. So that's allegedly why you cannot expect to see a Halloween 4 legacy sequel. But, you know, things could always change. But that's what I'm being told as of right now. This is why that most likely will not be the future of the Halloween franchise, which is very unfortunate. But of course, over time, they could settle their differences. But apparently there seems to be bad blood between them. And those were the reasons why. So diving into Scream 7. Scream 7 is likely to include the return of Martha Meeks. If you recall, Christopher Landon started following the cast earlier this year. I pointed it out thanks to UK. Shout out to you if you're listening to this. And it didn't just stop at the core four. He also followed Heather Matarazzo too, who we know stars in Scream 5 as the mother to Chad and Mindy, the sister of Randy that we met in Scream 3. We just learned though, that Christopher Landon signed on to direct Scream 7 prior to the strikes. So what else has he been in the know about? Considering he started following all the core four and Heather Matarazzo, I would like to think these people must be important to the story that he has or hasn't seen. But most likely he's seen a script, a completed draft, and that's why he started following them. Or he at least knows about their plans to incorporate these people into the story, so that's why he followed them. How would you factor in Martha's return though? Would you have Martha as the opening kill? Here's my thing. If you have Martha as the opening kill, I would include one of her kids. I would do something that's a callback to Screen 5 with Wes and Judy. I would kill Martha. I would kill Chad or Mindy in the opening along with her if you decide to have Martha as your opening kill. But I think they should go for the jugular. If you're going to bring Martha back, what is she going to necessarily do that would warrant her getting more screen time over all the other returning stars that are probably going to have a lot more reason to be developed over Martha? Who kind of at this point, since we met her, been a likable character, but she's got nothing to do. So she shouldn't really necessarily be giving that much more priority over her kids. I think she could possibly be a good candidate for the opening kill and in process of putting her in the opening, kill one of her kids along with it. Along with her, give us a very heartbreaking opening sequence and knock off one of the core four. Let people know that the stakes are high and we are going to kill people this time. <laughs> Diving into the next topic here, jumping into 13 Ghosts. So a 13 Ghosts television series just might be on the way after all, according to a report from Dread Central. Patrick Mediate from Primordial Pictures and Aaron McLean uh, have shared an exclusive update with Dread Central, announcing their partnership with Dark Castle Entertainment to develop and pitch a 13 Ghost television series to Sony Pictures Television. I did a video on this last night recapping Patrick and Aaron's journey to being part of the show, and they seem so excited, and their passion about what they are doing it has me so emotionally overwhelmed with their passion about how they're talking about it. Please listen to the episode of this podcast where they're talking about it, the Screenwriters Podcast. I'll leave a link to it in the description. As you see coming across your screen, these are the concept arts for what they had pitched 
a part of their pitch deck. Uh, Walking Dead producers were loving it. Apparently, the Sony execs were loving it during their pitch talk. But everything is on pause right now due to the writer's strike. But they have the backing of one, one half of the rights holders, which is Dark Castle Entertainment. And the series would dive into each ghost from that original 2001 remake which i know is something that people have always wanted to see in the format of a television show courtesy mostly inspired by the bonus content on the home media release but what would you guys love to see in a 13 ghost tv show do you think it has potential why or why not let me know down in the comment section below then the last thing i'm going to talk about is prey 2 dan trachtenberg gave an update on prey during a recent interview with the playlist he said i can't really say anything about that right now but i'll say while we're finished while we were finishing that movie we were having really exciting conversations the studio myself the writer and the producers about what crazy things could we do next and i've never stopped no one stopped thinking about how cool things could be going forward now this is basically him saying while there is no active movement there still seems to be an idea of where they want to go but there's currently no active movement the conversations are just being had you know because you could have conversations till the end of days that doesn't mean you're actually going to be having any real progress if you're just talking in circles about what you want to do you actually have to make them happen get things in development talking isn't enough when you're pitching things like what you see going on with 13 ghosts and you have backing from the studio that stuff at that point that's in development so I would hope that if we do get a sequel to Prey, that it's at least somewhat as solid as that initial film. I didn't mind it. I haven't revisited it since I watched it. I would need to sit down and watch that film one more time. I know a lot of people had their gripes about, it. oh, it was woke, it's this, it's that. I don't think it was woke. I don't think that at all. I think that a lot of people just come down on seeing a strong portrayal of a woman these days. I get it. Sometimes maybe it's at the expense of men which I can see as a man why you might have a problem with it. But you have to just have thicker skin, I will say. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.